Hi everybody, my name's Wayne and this is Don. We represent Vive EV, an electric vehicle charging manufacturer from South Korea. But before I get kind of involved with what we're doing with our business, I'd like to talk more about us personally. Uh, me, I come from a background, military, I've worked in IT for quite a few years, and I got really interested in electric vehicle charging after working in robotics and seeing that charging was usually the main issue they were running into. Seeing that our future is kind of pushing towards more of a uh, uh, electric vehicle charging uh, and seeing that a competition on an international scale has become so strong I want to jump into that business real quick and since I've had a few connections that helped get me into it we've been leading the charge here real quick here in Irving Texas but Don you got into this company too kind of early here what what's your background what got you interested in EV charging well my name is Don Kim I work as a business development specialist at 5EV. I'm, I'm originally from Korea, but I've been living in the States for 16 years. So I'm half American and half Korean. Perfect. And while coming to this um, EV industry and 5EV is that I had a lot of interest in science and technology ever since I was a little kid. And I, I always wanted to work in a small startup. And this is a perfect place for me to work in a technology and work in a small team and just promote growth for the whole EV industry. Perfect, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I kind of agree. I mean, I spent a year serving over in Korea, mm -hmm. and so I got to know all the people over there, and, and the culture there is a hard work ethic. You know, everybody's, everybody's right. got the same kind of motivations there to succeed. Mm -hmm. So bringing that same work culture over here in the U.S. is real important because um, uh, they're high speed, is what we called it in the military. So. The co-workers that I met when I went over there to the to our company in South Korea, it was the same mentality I got when I was in the military. Everybody's working hard, working together. And so I'd like to try to transition here more into what the company is doing. The Vive EV company is based in South Korea as manufacturers, but we've just started our footprint here in the United States. And you, you've been kind of part of that process here, uh, meeting people. You notice some of the companies that we've been talking to, mainly gas stations, uh, retail stores. Are there any other type of stores that you've noticed and companies that have been interested in us? Yeah, there, we are, like you said, feeding off what you said, we are currently talking to gas station owners, different CPOs, even hotel industries, and the retail spaces, because transitions are happening and the government is really pushing hard to adapt, adopt the EVs yes. to um, for sustainability for the human futures. Yeah, yeah for sure. Well, and something I noticed too with our devices, mm -hmm. we have 180 kilowatt, we have 640 kilowatt, which is kind of our mainstay systems, but they've got a split combo systems for their charger plug type. So you've got NACS and CCS, which I've noticed with a lot of people when we talk to them, they only have one series of plug types. and 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 in the future, that's going to be something that consumers are really wanting. They're going to want those options. And so I feel that Vive EV has placed itself in a really good spot here in the U.S. to compete with the American companies and the European companies in this field. Because if we don't, the international market's going to really defeat us. And, and so having them here is, is a great boost for the U.S. Right, and then the company itself actually has a rich history. It's, uh, our parent company, Wanik, Wanik Group, started in 1970s. And then uh, our parent company in Korea, we've been manufacturing EV chargers ever since 2004. And we deployed f over 15,000 chargers in Korea and Japan. So when it comes to our technology, it's pretty guaranteed that we have top quality uh, DC chargers. Yeah, and we'll get more in depth on some of our equipment in the next videos that y'all watch. But the key component is we're trying to make sure that we're leading in reliability, which in South Korea they are right now. And so we want to bring that same reliability over the U.S. So consumers, just like when you're going to a gas station, you pick out those pumps that you know are going to be reliable and when you see a Vive EV pump it'll set itself apart from the competition and that reliability and that uptime and that that ease of repairability for anybody that has to come on site and fix anything it'll be quick and short too 
But do you have anything else you'd like to add? No, like, like you said, we have 99.7% uptime and then we, we use our, like six, over 60% of our resources into R&D and we care about little details in the machine so it doesn't, it, it, it operates almost all the time because right now the issue with EV charger um, users are they complain about how it's whenever they are there to charge their cars it's not working yep and that's that's the only thing on well, not only thing but that's the main point that we are caring about in terms of um, our chargers being sure. yeah. reliable yeah that uptime and reliability well hey Don it's really good talking with you about it We'll have some more informative information for y'all in the next upcoming videos, but please stay tuned. And remember, my name's Wayne and this is Don. Good talking. Thank you.